Hi, my name is Amir and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with another review for you. It is on the Curtis Collection Naked Glow CC Cream. So, um, I know you guys really like my reviews on stuff. Those videos seem to be more popular. So, I thought I would give some more reviews for you all. So, this is, yeah, a CC cream and I really like it. So, I want to tell you more about it. So one of my friends stocks Curtis Collection in her salon and she gave me the CC cream to try because I'm going to be helping her out for a while so it's good if I try out some of the makeup that they're using. Um, so I got the shade medium and the CC cream is really different. Um, it's not like most other ones, it's kind of similar to the L'Oreal ones um, in terms of it comes out white and then as you rub it into the skin it actually changes color and yeah it's supposed to adapt to the skin you guys would have heard me talk about the l'oreal one a lot the main differences are um, the l'oreal one is a bit more matte um, it is a thinner consistency and this uh, Curtis collection one is a bit thicker consistency um, the color is a bit more yellow toned as opposed to the L'Oreal one which is a bit more neutral to maybe a, a hint pink um, and this one has better coverage and is dewy as you can see it's not overly dewy I mean I've got some highlight on my face I used a mattifying primer so if you have more oily skin you could definitely use this with a mattifying primer and um, some powder to set it all down I've worn this quite a few times now and I found that it has lasted all day um, I've died in 12 hours in it and the only thing is like a hint of oil around the nose but I mean you could very easily blot that pop on a bit of powder and go out for more time um, but yeah it is absolutely gorgeous so in this clip here, you'll see me applying the foundation slash CC cream. Um, the coverage is really, really nice. Um, my friend describes this as like your day off makeup for people who wear makeup every day or a everyday makeup for people who only wear like a little bit of makeup. Say you have like an office job or something, um, this would be really good for you. I find the hydration would be really good if you work indoors because of air conditioning and heating which can dry out the skin. The extra moisture would actually probably be very, very good for you. On the back it says wear alone or under foundation. Now I haven't tried it underneath foundation, I've just worn it on its own and with powder on top. So I haven't left it completely all by itself because it is dewy um, and I don't want it to transfer because I find that it doesn't really set on its own but a light dusting of powder is good. Um, you can do a little bit of translucent or if you find that you want a little bit more coverage you can use something like the MAC um, Studio Fix Powder, Napoleon Camera Finish Powder, Stralis Flesh and, Fresh and Flawless Powder, the list goes on. Find a powder that has like a hint of coverage and put a little bit on. You don't want too much or it'll go, um, you know, a bit cakey. But yeah, a little bit of powder definitely does not cause any problems with this foundation. Since it is really, really dewy, I find that it does grab if you're using a powder, bronzer or blush. So I would recommend setting the cheek areas very lightly with some like, you know, translucent powder or something. Um, if you want to kind of blend over a powder. Um, otherwise, yeah, it can grab and go a bit patchy, but yeah, that's like the same with most foundations that don't set on their own. I'm going to link the price here because I don't know off the top of my head, but I know that it is probably mid-range, so it's not like your Giorgio Armani's in price, um, but it's not, it's a bit more than like your drugstore foundations. Um, but yeah, I would definitely say it's a very good everyday foundation. Um, I would, yeah, very happily wear this every day with a little bit of concealer where I need it because I've got a bit of scarring on my cheeks still. And yeah, but I mean, I think saying day off makeup is probably underselling it. Like it definitely could be an everyday foundation because I would say the coverage is like a medium. You can definitely sheer it out to like a light or build it to a medium. So I think it would be good for most people. I think that definitely changing up the primer will make it more wearable for different skin types um, you know so mattifying if you're oily I probably wouldn't recommend a dewy primer with this because it is so dewy and luminous to begin with um, but you could just use like a normal 
normal skin type type primer um you know if you're on the more dry side like one of those ones that's a bit more moisturizing like for example the stiller one step correct i hear really good things about their matte foundation um if you've tried that let me know how it went for you below because i'm interested to try that one out too if you like this video and found it helpful please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on my new videos and i'll see you all next time bye